Hello, good evening, and welcome back to Cookie and Hayden's, and this is Reseller World. My name's Carboot Chris, and we've also got Bargain Bell here too. Hi. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you can hear and see me all right. I feel like I'm a bit, we're a bit darker than normal. Darker. I'm not quite as blinded. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I can it leave is. that in a bit. But I just feel like... We're okay. I think we're sure? okay. Right, okay. It's probably the mic, to be honest, it is is getting in the way of some of the light. Um, no, no, it looks fine. I don't know why I'm looking on there. It looks it look fine. all right? Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, yeah. cool. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Welcome to the end of the month show show. We've not stolen that from Ant and Deck at all. <laughs> um, but we've got a jam-packed show to share with you tonight. We are doing all kinds of stuff. We're going to talk about boot sales and charity shops. Big news coming up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got something to look forward to. Um, also, I'm going to do a sales update. We've got Bell's Bell throughout the show. We'll talk about that in a minute. Ding dong. We have got the raffle draw, the big raffle draw coming up. The Those fixed prizes. one, you know, the one that oh, people yeah. think is fixed. Yeah, it's, it's fixed. Totally. And if Tori wins again, it's fixed. Does Tori end oh, Yeah, she's oh, got right. two entries. She might win and then <laughs> incriminate us. Um, oh, dear. Also, we're going to kick off next month's raffle. We've got amazing stuff. Could even be the best one yet um, for next month. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then we'll talk about what's going on on the channel for the rest of the week. So any questions in the meantime, drop them in. If you're new to the channel, you've never said hello before or you've never even spoken the side chat, which is over there somewhere, the side chat. Down at the bottom. Say there. hello in the... Oh. Oh, down at the bottom. <laughs> if you're down at the bottom, you better not be down at the bottom. If you're down at the bottom or Lucky that way you. in the side chat, make sure you say hello. Uh, we don't buy. Oh shit! You just swear a lot though. It's not yet. Not yet. That, um, was, yeah, that was a test. That was a test. Was a test. We don't buy. So please say hello, and we will highlight your comment, and we'll uh, we'll highlight your question, whatever it is you want to say. So, whew, that's the intro. You don't. Yeah. Do you want to speak now? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just see who we've got in the chat, because then we can move on, and then we'll talk about Bell's Bell. So uh, give a chance uh, to people to come in. So we've got Steve Brano in. Hi, Steve-o. First one in. Uh, came in an hour ago. Wow, yes. The weeks... um, mine only goes back till half seven. The weeks are definitely going quite fast at the moment. I think it is the mic that's giving us a shadow here. Is that a bit better? Probably not. Uh, we've got Dave Repairs, we've got Tori in, we've got Gary, we've got James Tonks, we've got Chop Chop Busy Busy, we've got Kitan, hope your move's going well, Kitan. Uh, Jason, the reselling gamer, and Twistle. We have Cookie and Hayden's are in, there we go. <laughs> um, we've got Steve Jackson, hi Steve, I'm sure he's keeping his eye on this predator in the draw. Lana's in as well. 
Chris Tyler. We've got Carl Phillips. Hi, Carl. Oh, let's try and get to the bottom. We've got Kevin. I think he's all the way over in Florida or over in, over the other side of the pond. Um, um, we'll talk about that in a bit, Chris, but hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, Damien's in. Hi, Damien. Hope you're okay. We've got Victoria Plum. We've got Chris Ould. Yes, I didn't have to say it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Howard Suitcase. Hi, Howard. Uh, Jay the Flipping Sloth. We've got John the Brum Reseller. My, my memory's getting better, <laughs> isn't it? It's not getting worse. It's getting better. We've got you, Laura Mealing. You know, that's part of the keto diet. It's supposed to give you a more you better of memory. sharper memory. Bloody yeah. hell. Right, over to you because I've lost it. Where are we up to, Flipping Sloth? Uh, Laura Mealing. Did you say Colin Lingus? Uh, no, but I can. There we go. I've caught up now. Let yeah. the battle commence. Yeah. Yeah, cool. You carry on. I'll I'll highlight. Uh, da, 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 da. Olorine has joined us. Left-handed hummingbird. Leslie Davis. Rosie Marsden. We have Mr. Sprout. Ooh. We have reseller Dens. We have John at YLM. Aaron Tibbet. Hi, Aaron. Ian J. Vintage. Is that a new one? Uh, yes. Have you said Darren Hawkins as well? Oh, I thought we'd already said Darren Hawkins mm, earlier. Don't think so. no. Oh, sorry, Darren. Hi, Darren. Hi, Darren. Uh, Ian J. Vintage. Hi, Ian. Welcome. You look like a new name. Uh, we have Nathan Power. Graham Whittam. Is that a new one? Possibly new. I hope so. If not. Yeah. Welcome. If so, if not. <laughs> I like the high bell from Howard's suitcase. You put a little bell. <laughs> uh, we have Rebecca Turner. She's got swollen hands thanks to a super drug leaking facial mask, and it's covering everything in the everything in the order. Ah, oh, sorry oh about that. We have Mandy four two eight. Sarah Ellen Tonks is in. Mrs. Tonks. We have Ray the disabled picker. We have Stu Mandra, Laura, Mealing. Leanne. Is it Leanne? It's Leanne Hill. Leanne said Hill, Laura. Uh, Sky Vegas Gambler, Go Harry. Jazz, Mandy Gregory, Trotters is in, Dave Repairs. Said it. <laughs> the Dave. The Dave. Yes. And, and, and That's uh, it. Uh, Graham Whittam says, yes, he is new. So welcome. Thank oh, you welcome. for joining us and saying hello. Nice one. Yes, we got to the bottom really super fast there. Sky Gambler's put there. Has anyone experienced eBay's algorithm banning people from using eBay for 90 days for no reason? No. Not experienced that one. Uh, not heard of that really either. I think you're right. It is a bit dark over on your side, dear. I'm Maybe. on the dark side. That's so, why. I need to light you up a bit. Put you in light. No, no, I like being in the dark. That's better. That's better. Hi. But now your head's gone long because you're over near the side. That's better. <laughs> if it's long, it means it looks slinner. It's fine. There we go. Anyway, so um, we've got some stuff to do. So let's just, before we start, let's just talk about today's announcement, which was that shops... Non-essential shops are going to open, fingers crossed, all if all goes according to plan, on the 12th of April, which is, what are we on now? What is it about? Ages away. It's yeah, just miles feels. away. <laughs> it's about six weeks away from now, I make it. Roughly six weeks away. And that will obviously mean charity shops or most charity shops will open. So that's good news. We can all get but out and about. They? Will well, they? The last time this happened, our charity shops didn't did, open well, for weeks. You can't say our, but... Some didn't. Okay. I think I think this is a little bit different, and I'll tell you why I think it's different. It's because we're coming out of it. Last time, we were right in the middle of the pandemic, and I think they just thought, you know what, we'll stay shut. But this is the route map out. So I don't see really any reason. And plus, a lot of volunteers will have had their vaccinations, or at least their first one mm, at the very least. True. So a lot of the older volunteers hopefully we'll be back out helping out at the charity shops. So I think on the 12th of April, I think we'll see most charity so shops open. Fingers crossed. Let's hope so. We can all get out. And also, if indoor retail is open, normally, or going off what happened last year, 
outdoor markets, car boots, they tended to open at the same time. So I'm hoping that that happens because that'll be really good timing just after Easter. Weather's getting nicer, lots of outdoor boot sales. Let's hope the boot sales can open open in Easter. Yeah. That would be really good. Uh, Night's Life has joined us. Hello. Hi, Night's Life. Uh, Sky Vegas says he was in our live last week. He was listing his 50 PS2 games. I do really vaguely remember that. And now his eBay shut him down. Really? That's weird. That's really unusual, isn't it? How strange. With no explanation. Mm. Seven weeks, DB says. Yeah. Seven weeks today. Oh, I was hoping it was six. Oliver Ian says he's not being rude. He's doing some DIY, so he's just listening. So it means we're going to have a nice, peaceful oh, show tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Victoria Plum, I'm in Wales, so no idea what they're doing. See, that's Not the yet. thing. It depends. It's going to be similar, is. isn't it? It's going to be similar, I think. 49 days and counting, says Dave. Uh, the Dave says outdoor markets, car boots should be open just after schools reopen. It said a few weeks back. Yeah, but I can't. Uh, I mean, fair enough if they are, but I reckon it'll be when retail opens. But that's just my. I'm going off how it happened last year. And I think when shops opened, I think that's when we saw councils more likely to allow the boot sales to open. But if they open earlier, Yay. I'll take it. David Resales and Collects has joined us. Hi, David. Um, Nathan Power says, last year boot sales were two weeks before indoor retail, and Boris hasn't mentioned outdoor. Okay, that's interesting, Nathan. Right, well, maybe it will be right then. But... Um, Maybe we'll get them around Easter time. Maybe Easter weekend we might see some boot sales if we're lucky. Ooh, Goat Jazz is getting his jab on Saturday. Good luck with that one. Good luck. One more down. One more down. Joe Noble's popped in. Hi, Joe and Glyn. We have Glyn. Evening, I love your channel. New subscriber. Hello. Oh, excellent. Thank you for joining us. This this gives me a great opportunity to show you something, that a little, a little thing I've, I've got. Let me just show you this. So if you've not hit the like button or you've not subscribed yet, let me just let me just remind you using this. So you can hit the like button down there. <laughs> just down Do you there. Do you realize that's pointing to your groin? Well, <laughs> a lot of people have said they liked it in the past. I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, they did, but, you know. Oh, yeah. That's why you're with me. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned it. I've not even thought of that. Right. Well, I'm just telling you, it is with a thumbs up. <laughs> So listen, <laughs> down there's the like button. So go and press that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh. And if you've not subscribed, down there is the subscribe button. <laughs> so if you'd like regular updates from whatever's down here, <laughs> then hit that button. God, that was, I didn't expect that. I really didn't. Yeah. Mr. Sprout says he's looking forward to a hairdresser being open. He's looking like Sideshow Bob. <laughs> oh, you know what was hilarious? And both me and Annabelle laughed. On, when Boris was doing his announcement in Parliament this afternoon, before the big announcement on, on Sky News or whatever, um, wasn't it funny, though, when he said, <laughs> um, you know, oh, and, and hairdressers can open on, on whatever, the 12th of April. Uh, I can't remember what he said. What did he say? He said something like, I'm so pleased about that. And, and <laughs> there's no one more pleased about that than me or something like that. And that, I just, that just tickled me. That, that was funny. And, he's, and his hair is like this. But it looked like that before we were sitting on But it definitely looks like his missus has had a chop at it because there's kind of a line going along here. Uh, he, he can be funny. He can be oh, funny. Oliver Ian said he's going to stop, so I've got to behave now. Um, Mr. Diggs has joined us. Hi, Mr. Diggs. He's back. He's been away for a while, but he's back. He's back. Back again. Uh, the Welsh Government are doing their own thing. Rebecca's uh, had her vaccine on Saturday. Oh, good. Uh, reseller Jenny and Funko Cassie from Oz Ooh, are in. No. People from all over the world now on these, this show. It's excellent. I love it. Ashley says, evening, Chris and Bell and fellow chatter. Sorry, I'm late. Was all excited. Finally got a sale. Just a DVD, but noticed it was a GSP sale. Managed the buyers and oh. they didn't read the description. Uh, message the buyers and they didn't read the description. Annoying. 
Annoying. Right, just before we carry on, listen to this. I hope you can hear it okay. That's Bell's Bell. Did I just they spit are, the camera in? Possibly. They all know what Bell's Bell is. They're all waiting for Bell's Bell. Well, they might not have been here last time. Oh, yeah, did that, it? that is true. So when you hear Bell's Bell, at any point during the show, not until I say starting now, but that's what it sounds like, right? You've got to write. What have they got to write? Ding dong. Ding dong in the chat. If you write ding dong and you are the first person to write ding dong, you will get a mystery prize sent to you in the post by us. <laughs> TDs or evening Chris and ding dong. Yeah. <laughs> you will get something mailed in the post from us. We'll only do it a few times because I can't afford too much in postage stamps, but we will send you something in the post. I hope you hope like it. And keep like your expectations. It. Down, down, down there. Not down there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what made me laugh, though, Ashley, put, um, when you were doing your pointy thing? Um, Night's Life says he doesn't want to see your little thing, thanks. But Ashley put, it's exactly above the report button. The report? <laughs> Where's the report button? <laughs> I, don't I don't know without thinking. I'm gonna it's different on different devices. It depends how you, your window, how your window is shaped, if you like. But generally, it's there. It's there somewhere. Don't press the report button, please. Um, <laughs> Stu says I'm not pressing anything down there. <laughs> Joe Noble says they've got a curfew. Every shop shuts at 5.30, even the supermarkets. Where's this? Don't know where that is. The bounty hunter has joined us. Sure, Joe told us last time. Where where are you again, Joe? Just remind us, please. It's in Europe somewhere. I can't remember. I'm not going down there. Oh, you won't win then. Uh, the Dave says, "Need a video on how I need a video on how you do all these special effects, mate." No, seriously. <laughs> Who says that? The Dave. Yeah. Special effect. What special effect? <laughs> Your little arrows. <laughs> you know, I got that. I got that. Um, I was watching Jason T. Smith's video uh, this afternoon while I was listening. And um, he, he did that. And I thought, what a brilliant idea. He was like reminding people about liking and subscribing and stuff. And mm -hmm. he, he got these overlays. So did I made... point to his ding dong. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's no getting over it. There's no getting out of it. Shabatron joined us and he said, Jesus, what did I just come into? Click on Mr. Hayden's tinkle and get a laugh. Mm. <laughs> Um, we're we're allowed out locally, but soon we'll be released from captivity. Twenty ninth of twenty ninth of March, it will no longer be law to keep us indoors, keep us keep <laughs> us at home, or whatever it is, keep us in the locality. So, technic technically, from then, it's a free for all. <laughs> Graham Whittam says nightclubs open on his birthday, the 21st of June. Pity he'll be 52. <laughs> that means nothing. We can go about party. All right. I'm normally in bed by nine, but once they open, I'm going to go party. Yeah, we've got a few ding-dongs. Yeah, we're not ready yet, people. We're not ready. I, I, it's starting from now. I didn't say starting from. Uh, right. Phoned eBay today as my sales were shocking. They refreshed my account. I got four sales already. Very odd. Yeah. I've done that before. I've asked them to have a look when I've had like a no sales day because it's very unusual. And uh, I've asked them to have a look. And you can actually refresh all your listings yourself by doing a bulk edit, but don't edit anything. So maybe bulk edit all your items, maybe go into like dispatch time and click change to and just click the same dispatch time and that will bulk edit all your listings and it will change your dispatch time to exactly what it was before. Um, and that that will refresh them. Sometimes it has an effect, sometimes it doesn't. Leslie Davies says, you're driving my dogs crazy, Chris, with your bell. <laughs> <laughs> well, she drives me crazy as well. <laughs> okay. My sons get called Ding Dongs because their surname is Bell. <laughs> Ray says if he wins, he don't want that bloody DVD. <laughs> You're having it. Along with about 60 others. Hi, Aid. James says, is it the booby prize? 
It is the booby pride for Ding Dong's Bells. Um, Sean Mix Shop. Hello. Says the new import tax is killing my sales. It adds on to your item unknowingly. So something for 30 will end up 37. That's what the customer sees, but eBay doesn't tell you. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. I've been wondering. They're going to have to sort out this tax issue at some point because I'm sure they're going to have to iron it out and get it right because it must be affecting, it's got to be affecting a whole wide range of industry. Elbury Retro has joined us. Hello, Bill or Lucy or both. Uh, Glynn says, Od I've ordered one of the big eBay boxes that you opened the other day. Should be with me tomorrow. Well, it's funny, Glynn, because I think there's been about 25, maybe more than that, because people are still watching the video and still ordering. Um, he has been swamped <laughs> with orders, <laughs> literally swamped. He's spent, this guy, I know, he messaged me um he messaged me, when did he message me? Yesterday. Because I, I only told him that I'd done an unboxing after I'd done the video. I didn't tell him beforehand. I didn't want there to be any bias. So I wanted to see what was in the boxes. Um, so I messaged him and he didn't reply till Sunday. He said he'd been absolutely swamped. Um, plus he'd done some other deals with people as well, some big deals and big monetary deals because he's got a lot of stock. Um, so... He's made a small fortune over the weekend, pretty much, <laughs> probably about as much as I make in a month, put it that way. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of orders going out, but I hope you get some good stuff. Send, take a picture of what you get in your box. Send it me. Uh, Keely's no, joined don't us. send me a picture of your box. But... <laughs> Keely's joined us. Hi, Keely. And so has Go for Profit. Go for Profit. Hello. Finally made one of your lives. Loving it. Yes, get in there. Don't forget to listen out for the ding dong. What's James Tonks? Chris, 45 boxes slash sales. You got the eBay seller. 45 now. It was he's, 25. He's starting my order tomorrow. Thanks for the video. Bloody hell, fire. 45, that means, oh my God, if I have to compute that. He's made more than what I make in a month on eBay. <laughs> oh, why is me? I haven't plugged it in. That's why. I was about to say, why is my battery dying? Um, oh, Joe Noble's in Marseille. Okay. Do you know where that is? France. Well done. Geography. A plus. Dave says, Belle, are you ready for the Plymouth dodgy nightlife? I do not think so. Not a cat in else chance. I wouldn't mind having a night out down at the um at the thingamajig. Oh, at the hole. Yeah. Not the hole. No, the Barbican. Other bit. Barbican. Yeah, the Barbican looks nice. Even though, do you remember when we went down and we were having a nice quiet drink and that that guy came out, pissed as a fart, and started chatting me up in front of you. Mm. Basically said that he couldn't believe I was the boy's mum. <laughs> but like I said, you were, he was obviously bladded. He had beer goggles on, for God's sake. Uh, Reseller Jenny says, I don't know how you guys do it being locked in. I did 24 yard sales last weekend. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I don't think my hubby would survive lockdown. Because <laughs> I'd kill him. Have you seen Night's Life says he's ordered three of those but large boxes? Blimey. DB Resale says his should be there tomorrow. But a lot of people, a lot of people have ordered from them. DB says read the box, Chris. What career was it? Um I don't know because I didn't I didn't actually look at the label, but they just came in a plain van. I don't think it was Hermes. It wasn't the normal normal Hermes guy. And it it was just I don't know whether it's Yodel maybe or something like that. Ray says, don't know if it was a coincidence, but I changed my what's P slash Um promoted listings. From one percent to two percent last week and sales went off the scales all week. Well happy. Good, good. Well it's always worth trying and shaking things up a bit. Uh, 11, uh, LB says 11 orders went out today. Cool. I put out, what did I, put, how many did I send out today? 21 orders, I think, 21, I think. Because just as I was about to go, two more came in, so I did those. Yeah, you know, something like 20 or 21 or something like that. Reseller Den says, ooh, big box sale, do you have a link? Big box sale? The boxes that everyone's buying, do you have a link? Oh, just um, 
just have a look at the video. I've put the name of the the seller on it um, on the the live unboxing. Go back on my videos. Have a look at the live unboxing. Dan's. Oh, Linda and Gaz are with us. Hi, Linda and Gaz. Hello. You're like we've not seen you for a little bit. They're um they're stopping reselling. Yeah, I bought a few bits off them. Not much, not a lot of stuff, but I bought a few bits off them that they're clearing out. Oh. Um, well, I but, hope you still yeah. join us from time to time anyway. You don't have to resell just to join in. Like I said, you're not giving up. You're just changing direction. Right. What's that anomalous data point, is it? Anonymous. Let me have a look in a minute. Here we go. Put it up on screen. <laughs> I'm not reading it out loud until I've understood it. <laughs> Anomalous date, data point. That's what I said, yeah. Good evening. I've also sent for one of those boxes. Can't lose because I need a bunch of new T-shirts anyway. <laughs> oh, the T-shirts are cracking. You've fair. kept a few. I've kept... Uh, no, I haven't actually. I've, I've listed them all. Do you not keep any of them? No. Even the Back to Future ones, they've decided to sell them. Oh, right. Yeah, the Back to the Future one was a little bit slim fitting for my sort of chippy tits. <laughs> <laughs> Eric creates one says she's ordered one too. He was out of stock of one size of hoodie as he's been so busy. Crikey. Mondo says Chris will be happy that hairdressers are open soon. He's refusing to go back. She's he's doing it. Point blank refusing to go back. She's doing it. James says he's retiring once all the stock's gone. Better be fast. There you go. It's amazing what um, an unboxing can do for someone's business. Magic, yeah. Mind you, in saying that, it does boil down to the good quality shit that's exactly. in there. Exactly. There was some really good stuff in those boxes. If you'd have unboxed that and it was full of rubbish, which we have done in the past, yeah. then it wouldn't have been so popular, would it? Um, Reseller Jenny said they shipped out 21 orders today. Cool. Linda and Gas has been a busy few weeks. We will still be here every week. I'm sticking with my dolls just now. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that we're still going to uh, have you on board. Victoria Plum says, anyone who works outside of eBay, does anyone work outside eBay in a day job on here? Yeah, lots of people. Um, have you been deployed to help out the NHS? I'll let anyone else answer that. Um, Queen is in. Sorry I'm late. I've been cutting my own hair. <laughs> Speaking of hairdressers. Let's see if you've caught everybody off guard. Someone at the door. I don't know, but everyone's dogs are probably going crazy now. <laughs> oh, I've got a first one. Oh, Linda and Gaz has sent me a surprise. That's good. I'm looking Ooh. forward to that. Thank you. So that's be good. That's my first one. Uh, and yes, that would be ours. Well done, Jason. Jason, you are our first ding donger. I'm going to write you down. For one of our very low budget, don't expect much booby prizes. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously low budget, but it will be fun opening it. So just send me a message afterwards, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Send me a message with your address, and I'll send some out to you. Well done. Thanks, everyone else who's took part in that. Uh, Linda Guest says you'll either love it or you'll hate it. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You, you're not sending me back the Chupa <laughs> Chups cap, are you? I don't want it back. Uh, we've got Miguel, who's joined us. He says, hi, first time I've watched live. Hello. Oh, hello. Whereabouts are you, Miguel? Are you, Sounds are you, Spanish. Are you in the UK or are you watching us from abroad? Let us know. And the Dave, even if you were first, you ain't going to get it with ding bong. It's ding dong. Come on. Same with jo Joanne. Ding fong. <laughs> um, Mondo says, liked the wouldn't pay £20, but I will list the jacket for 40 Did you say? It's listed, Mondo, but not no, no major interest in it yet. But yeah, it was a nice jacket. It's it's definitely got some vintage wear to it, but it was unusual. I couldn't find one exactly the same. It's a Yankees jacket. I paid 20 for it, but probably overpaid. 
Yeah, just give a quick thing, Ed, because I've got a quick, um, thing. I've a quick thing. Sky Vegas says he was first or they were first. What happens with these chats? is that you always see yours first it's the way it works yeah so what when we it's have the same to, time yeah. so what we have to do is we have to go off chris's chat because we've had so many complications in the past with it when we've done different things so we always go off whoever shows up first in chris's chat um try again yeah try so, again sorry but, about yeah, that yeah thanks thanks for highlighting it it does happen because there's quite a lot of people commenting there's quite a few that will comment exactly the same moment Oh, Miguel's in Darlington. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, Sounds oh, Spanish. he's somewhere like exotic. <laughs> I'm sure Darlington's exotic. Oh, uh, Mr. Dick says he knows what Linda sent you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Phil really wants everyone spare DVDs. Look, you, pipe down, go fix your shelves or whatever yeah, you were no. doing. We'll get some work done. <laughs> Why don't you give away that Hummel top? We don't have to see it. This is my favourite top, this. I love this top. Thank you. <laughs> it's very retro. That or his high-tech one. Yeah. Linda and Gaz says, no, but it's CCC related. Oh. Had it in our death pile and could only think of you for a home. Thanks, Linda. Thanks. <laughs> you think about me as well. <laughs> uh, Miguel says, I've, I've been here 12 years already. And yes, he's Spanish. See, told you, didn't I? I almost lived in Spain, remember? Sky Vegas says, where can I send this screenshot to? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, uh, Joe uh, Closet Geeks in. Hi, Joe. Watching on Facebook today. Oh, okay. Interesting. Do you have a... Uh, black, black suits me better, I find, Bailey, because it's slimming. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, shall we do... Um, what do we do with the ding dong? Do you want to remind people about the ding dong? The ding dong is just our little low budget uh, game that we're going to be playing throughout the evening. And and ever you hear Chris's little bell that he rings, um, the first person to write ding dong, and it's the first person that shows up in Chris's chat, so there's no arguments, uh, will get a little prize sent to them in the post. What do you win with the ding dong? Ah, it's a secret. You won't know till it till it comes through your door. But like I said, keep your expectations low. <laughs> yes, very low. Very low. Um, okay, shall we do a sales update? Yeah, let's go for it. Now, bef just before I go and do a sales update, don't forget, if you've not liked the video, you can go down there, just underneath, if you're watching it on, on your desktop, go down there and hit the like button. <laughs> and if, <laughs> if you've not subbed yet, <laughs> pop down the button there and subscribe. <laughs> so whatever press is wrong round, pop down the bottom. <laughs> pop down the bottom. Um so uh let's share the screen and we'll do a bit of a sales update. I've got 10 recent sales to share with you. Um as as usual. No particular rhyme or reason to any of it. Go on, share. You keep uh you keep your eye on on the uh I will, don't thing. you? Where I'm... Okay, so first one up is, and now I put this in, not particularly a high sale, this is eleven ninety nine. Uh, it actually sold for £10, by the way, on an offer, uh, Gibraltar mug or Stein. And the reason I put this in was I got a message with the offer. Now, sometimes we get messages with offers, don't we, like pleading for you to accept it and whatnot. But this one, a little bit different. Um, they said that they were from a care home. And um, a lady with dementia had accidentally broken a chap's Gibraltar mug, which was very similar to this. And he was devastated about it because it brought back many memories. So she said, please, will you accept my offer of £10? I would have accepted it anyway, £10 for eleven ninety nine. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I accepted it. She paid straight away and sent me a nice message afterwards to say, uh, how much she appreciated that. So um You know what you could have done? You could have sent her and gone, look, you can have it for a fiver. That's what it would have been. Oh nice. now you're making me feel bad. Good. That's what you should have done. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was doing something now it's nice and now you make me feel bad. Why by they knocking save... one ninety nine off it? They save one ninety nine. So you well, could have, you could give it in for free. 
What more do they want? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I also sold... Now, this went really quick. This was in a recent haul. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed this in a recent haul of vintage gear. Um, it's a Chicago Bulls top, uh, but it's a youth top. And I have always found with youth clothing, even stuff like this, it can take ages to shift and you don't always get a lot of money. But this sold pretty fast. It went for $34.99, which I was really happy about, um, plus £4 shipping on top. Cost price is based on weight. So I think it was about four to five pound cost price. So I was pretty happy with that one. Closet Geek has asked, did they miss the raffle? No, you should know, not Chris, you should know Chris by now. That is not going to happen till the end. Well, towards the end. <laughs> we'll also announce this month's raffle as well afterwards. That, it, Bailey's got something there. He said the amount of sob stories I get, you don't know who is telling the truth. I know you now. don't. I mean, when I printed the address out, it was going to a care home. So. Um, that, that gave me more confidence. Uh, right, now, I sold this. This is actually much smaller than you think. It's about it's about that big. Can you see that on screen? Probably about that big. Quite a small little teddy. About 12 inches. About 12 inches, yeah. <laughs> um, Denver Broncos, I think. Denver Broncos, isn't it? Um, one of their mascot sort of teddies. It went for 14 99 had that for a while, took an offer. It's not in the greatest condition. Really. Not in amazing condition, but it's old, it's vintage. 1993, so it's got mm. some fair age in it. Um, cost price on this was only one or two pound maximum. Now, you might have seen on Instagram uh, that I was listing a load of pants uh, the other day, uh, a load of jeans and stuff. And um, these ones sold super fast. Within 24 hours, I sold this pair, which gave me confidence to. You don't even list buy jeans. Where did you get these from? This came in a bundle of stuff. I don't even remember. It might have been in that in that uh, subscriber purchase. You know, yeah. that, all that gear. Um, but I've been putting it off because I don't really like listing pa pants. But they sold quick. But they went on an offer for twenty two pound fifty. Chase in the reseller says, "Do you say that to all the girls, Chris? It's smaller than you think." <laughs> <laughs> Well, he won me over with it. Oh, no, we terrible. tell with the We're, word. With what? the words. <laughs> I meant we saying that. <laughs> right, I'm shutting up. <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. Oh, dear. Right, I sold this. Um, this is the last one of three. I actually had three lots of these. Three dragons from Game of Thrones. This, this was a wholesale order. Um, I did this before Christmas to try and get some sort of new new gear in for Christmas. Um, what are you laughing at? Sorry, I can't believe we're just... You plonker. <laughs> it's probably true, isn't it? Um, cost price on these... <laughs> you just said that just so... <laughs> the cost price on these was, for all three, was probably between 10 and £12. Pound. I think they were about 3 to 3.50 each new um from a wholesaler so i think they went for 34.99 or 32.99 maybe but they've gone i've sold all three lots so i'm pretty happy with that um this is also a kind of a shout out i sold this to a viewer now he may be watching now he's not a subscriber because he doesn't yet have a youtube account but he watches on a regular basis he said to me um, and he just wanted to uh, support us and pick up something out of our shop. And he bought this. <laughs> he bought this classic. Um, it's like something you'd have seen at our wedding, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Till death do us part, basically. Uh, tw 10 inch skeleton thingamajig. I also sold this unusual. Barbados is not the national team, but it's a team from Barbados football shirt. Very, very hard to track it down. Um, but it went for 20, 20 quid on an offer. I actually bought this in the USA when we were thrifting out there. Um, I sold this cap. This cap went for £19. Real nice cap. I got it in a bundle of caps. I think it cost about £2 in a bundle but it was a super bowl 
very very nice i'm surprised it took so long to go but it was up for more now this is one of those examples where i got to the four month mark and i ended it relisted it dropped the price slightly and it sold and that's a good example of why to do that keely liked the um skeletons bailey says it looks like it's from coco it does actually it does a bit yeah, doesn't it yeah it could have been something like that I sold this nice cycling jersey. It's a Rock and Republic Cadillac jersey. Um, they were going for decent money. This one, I think, only cost me one pound. Uh, but I did let it go for thirty four ninety nine. Uh, they made me an offer thirty four ninety nine, and I thought, good old phrase, bird in the hand. And the last thing I'm going to share with you is this Harley Davidson Canada. Um, ladies top with kind of the distressed neckline thing and these tassels on the arms interesting vintage top uh cost price was about three pound and it sold for 34.99 so okay. some interesting sales i just thought i'd give you a selection of what's gone there you go that that is our sales update <laughs> Hmm. Sadly, folks, Keely asked what was a drinking tonight with the things I'm coming out with. Sadly, it's just juice. Well, she does it every week, to be fair, <laughs> doesn't she? I don't need a drink. Uh, green Bears is in High Green Bear Peaks. Lee, that is. Uh, no, postage always on top, Keely. Postage always on top for me. Unless you have free postage, and then, of course, it's included in the offer price. Uh, Catherine's in on Facebook. You're Catherine. Hello. That's one of my sisters. And before you start asking Dave, no, she's not single. Because I know what's going to come next. Thanks for joining us. Um, so what have we got next on the list? Uh, well, we've oh. got the raffle coming up. And, um, oh. That's the doorbell again. It's busy today, Go isn't it? Answer it. For the God dog will be. Sake. The dog will be running down there now. It's probably <laughs> could be a late delivery. Could do an unboxing here. I have a first. God, there's so many people commented. Then I have a first. I have a first. It's the same as your first. Is it, that one? it is that one. There we go. Here we go. And the winner is Queenie. Queenie Woo! She was only saying before that she'd not managed to get it. So she was like, she was hovering. She was like, ready? Uh, well done, Elaine. Well done. Um, send me a message and we'll send something nice out to you in the post. Don't forget as well, the guys that are winning the ding dong, don't forget you need to tell us, not now, you can just message me with it. If you're team Chris, team Bell. Team Cookie or Team Cookie and the Haydens. So it's me, Belle, Cookie or all of us. Let's see if it was like last week where people just kept sitting on the fence and going, yeah, Cookie and the Haydens are Cookie. Nobody wanted to say it was me or you. I actually think you won last time though, didn't you? You got more than I did. What? I think you got more than me. Oh, God, yeah, everyone wanted mine. So. <laughs> everyone wants mine. Everyone wants a piece of you. Mondo Daft as a Brush says, can you explain why you hate free postage as no benefit in fees or is it for book taking slash accounts? No, um, well, postage isn't free at the end of the day, is it? That's what you've got to think to yourself. And your postage will come out of your profits if you don't include if you include it. Now, I do do free postage when it's on competitive items like media, games. Stuff like that, because everyone does free postage. If you have a postage cost on a game or a DVD, you're going to be at a disadvantage to everyone else. I'm pretty convinced of that. Most of the stuff that I sell is a one-off item. Quite often, there's not a lot of competition. So it makes no difference whatsoever to have free postage or add the postage on. So I always add the postage on because it's not free at the end of the day. Oh, I'm sorry, Sky Vegas. He says he thinks he's being ignored. He said he was sat there with ding dong typed in and he's on super fast fiber. 
I'm so sorry. You've got to be, I tell you something, people are whip it quick on these uh, chats. They really are. Team Bell sister, Dave says. <laughs> your team, Be your team, any of my sisters. I have many of them. Um, oh, sorry. James Tonk says, I put everything as free as eBay, take extra fees that I don't agree with. I just add postage costs to it. You can do that. You can do that. But I just prefer to, when it's a one-off item. So if there's no competition for my item, then there's nothing to compare it with. Is there? So you might as well, there's no point in doing free postage because they're going to, that's the only thing that, they can find so you might as well just have the postage on top sky vegas says where can where can we message you what? uh instagram or facebook they're the best places uh td says christy you include a storage cost for your items in your accounts uh no because it's stored here at home and i do claim um you know use of the home um from for business purposes in my yearly accounts it all be i only use the simplified version which is not a lot of money but i still it's something to claim in it tea cakes has joined us hello hi tea cakes reseller den says they always add postage very rarely does free postage yeah baylor says he does free postage for media and retail arbitrage items all of those go with postage as they want it they will purchase as exactly bailey exactly I, I started off life, when I first started off life doing my business on eBay, so 2015 onwards, I started off with free, but it made it made no difference. I tested both um, and it made no odds at all. So you actually, I think, I think that you make more money, you make more profit um, if you add it on. Uh, Becky says, I had people complain about the postage cost in the past, so she just does free posts now. I think if you offer fair postage costs, which I do, my postage costs are set at £3.60, then £3.99, then £4.99, £5.99, £6.99. Um, anything over 100 quid, it's normally about £9.99 because I always, I'll always insure it when it gets to... I mean, I'll always insure it, really. Probably when it's over over forty pound and above, I'll make sure I add insurance onto it. So, Chris Brixham says he sells media, so he has postage free, but agrees with you. Um, he prefers he refers to it as postage included. Yeah, I think with media, you've not got a choice. There's so much free postage going on with media, and especially it goes large letter size mostly, doesn't it? So. Oh, DB says, top tip, eBay doesn't charge promoted listing fees on the postage, only the item price. Interesting. Didn't know that. <laughs> Queenie says she's team Bell. Get in there! Fuck's sake, Queenie. <laughs> I support the what. ladies. Whoop, whoop. That's shocking. <laughs> High five, Queenie. Uh, Dave says, now getting used to postage policy options. Yeah, I don't use the postage policies at the moment. Might do at some point. I don't like using business policies at all. Uh, I just don't like using them. It, it it prohibits some other functions when you use business policies. So I, I avoid it at the moment. But I might change my mind at some point. Keely's high-fiving us as well. High five, Keely, to the girls. TK said I went from no stock to list two days ago to picking up three carloads. <laughs> That's good, though. Where did you get all your stock? Was it Facebook pickup? David says he only does. Yeah, I mean, it's it makes sense if you've got a lot of competition to do free postage because you there's a better chance of you appearing above them or at least being competitive in price. <laughs> Jason says he's... Um... Okay, I'll write that down. Team Cookie hashtags job real well. To be fair, if you're asking Chris, he refers to me and the dog in the same context. So, yeah, could be Team Bell. Uh, Darren, when's the next come list with me session? I might do it tomorrow afternoon, Darren. I might do tomorrow afternoon. I'm not decided yet. Possible. Look, keep a lookout. Sky Vegas says he sent you a message on Instagram. Can I read it afterwards? Is that all right? And I'll uh, I'll reply to you. Cookie rules. <laughs> 
TK says, I don't know when I'm supposed to do a ding dong. When you hear the bell, do a ding dong. When you hear that bell. Um, Queenie not Co- this bell. No, not that one. God, you'll be forever pressing it. Um, <laughs> what will you? It. We've had enough willy talk today. <laughs> <laughs> um queenie conquest says i've got no ebay get get ordering some more stock from the clothing people queenie um uh, maybe maybe keely maybe grant me sells has joined us don't panic he's here tori's doing some listing tomorrow too laney's in hi laney hey laney uh reseller dan says it's becoming more likely i'm going to go full-time reselling in july i have no room in the home for storage so looking to build something in the garden or local storage a tough decision thoughts Depends it, it what... is a tough decision because we've been yeah. there how many times i always say especially if you're starting you want to avoid having expense as you know as fewer expenses as possible when especially when you're starting up uh, because it's a drain on your resources, isn't it? It's expenses that you you could do without. So having to pay for storage straight away before you've—I know you do part time, but going full time is a different ball game. So if I were you, I would avoid all costs by paying for storage at the moment. Teams on beavers—that's more like it, David. Yeah. I like that. Howard Suitcase says he's deciding who rules after the raffle. <laughs> CD says, Chris, do you enjoy your stock? Um, I have done in the past. I think I've, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm insured now. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's difficult to say whether, you know, they'd, I'd, I'd like to know if they'd ever actually pay out if something happened. I really would because it'd be hard to, be difficult to sort of put a claim in, I think. Uh, Grant Resell says, the Ben Hill music would have been ace on the video of Cookie and Fast Mode. I'm assuming that's the one I put up with. Oh, us. that one. Oh, yeah, it would have been. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mondo says he built a large shed. A storage units are £180 a month. That's a big expense to have when you're starting out that. Mm. Mr. Dick says he's waiting for a big box of stock off Linda and Gaz. Oh, cool. Um, Mr. Diggs, only, Mr. Diggs, just to let you know, you only got the stock that I rejected. How does that make you feel? <laughs> T. Kate says he got it from Gary Nicholson. He's doing clothes only, so he's bought everything else he had left. Oh, cool. That's good. Good to see that you're all doing deals and leaving me out. <laughs> <laughs> We've got enough. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's good just to know that you're all contacting each other and doing deals and stuff. That's, that's how you should do it. Yeah, Keely says you can fit storage in your garden. It, it, it just is make so sure it's waterproof and it's yeah. not going to be damp. I suppose it is the first logical thing to look at because you haven't got travel involved then as well, have you? <laughs> Night's life is ding dong in. It's not ding dong time. Stop. It's you get slide. disqualified, Richard. <laughs> I'm not joking. You get disqualified. Um, uh, Bailey says I built a large shed. Still cost me 1200 but it's insulated. And it's yours at the end of the day, isn't it, to use for yeah. whatever you need. Uh, reseller Dan says he's looking for a big shed too. Cambridge local is around £280 for the size he's looking for. So I like that. James is still trying to fix up his shed. Uh, Chris, I can do you a good deal on some DVDs. I'm interested in Blu-rays, Ray. Um, just for that, I'm now team pal, <laughs> says Mr. Diggs. <laughs> I think we need to do the raffle, don't you? Should we do yeah, the raffle? Let's, let's get it done. Before time gets away from us, because it's going to take us a bit of time to get through this. Yeah, let's get it done. Right. It's time for the raffle, guys. Um, now, don't forget, seriously, I keep reminding you, and I'm not seeing any action on your part. What? Me? They're, they're not, no, not you, you bonker. <laughs> I'm like, what are we getting blamed for now? People are not hitting the like button. Even though we've got all this great content. Would you like me to so, like it? Yes, please. You've not even fucking liked it. <laughs> no. She's not even liked it on her account. Get that. I'm do it now. I'm team tough. I'm team. <laughs> I'm team cooking. Do it now. I don't know how to do it. Get out. You need to get off the chat. Press the cross. Press the cross. Yeah. There you go. You happy now? Seven likes. Right. I'm not. We're not doing this raffle. <laughs> 
I want 20 likes on there before I even start this raffle. Come on. You can see if they're doing anything. Lazy buggers, aren't they? Maybe mine's just not showing up. Seven likes. What kind of shit show is this? Oh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're thinking. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, you can hit the subscribe button down there somewhere. So like, subscribe, like. You're oh, obsessed, shit. aren't you? Like. There you go. Right. James says it says 48 on us. All right. said this six to me. I've just said that too. Your mind could just be playing up. Okay, I'll I'll let you all off. Do you know why mine's playing up? Because he doesn't let me have Wi-Fi on. He makes me turn it off. We have to turn it off to, to even get through this show. Oh, everyone says different. Somebody says 32. Oh. Somebody says 63. Some say 27. Some say 65. What? <laughs> oh, they're all taking the piss, aren't they? <laughs> Mate, I'm excited about doing this now, this, this draw. It's exciting, isn't it? Let me just make sure that I've got everyone's name on here. So after spitting your dummy out that nobody was pressing the like button, everyone's been pressing your tinkle. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks anyway if you hit the like button. I appreciate it. And uh, especially if you're subscribed. Change your tune, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> um, right. So what have we got? It's like Mr. Miyagi. That's what he does. Um, what are we doing? Raffle. So, all 30 tickets have sold. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much for taking part and for supporting the channel, supporting our business. Appreciate it. And we're definitely giving back here as well. Um, there's going to there's be five prizes drawn, three main prizes and two booby prizes. <laughs> Um, are going to come out of this. So five out of the 30 are going to win. Um, some of you bought more than one ticket, so thank you great, very much. It's really appreciated. So um, the way this will work is on. we will spin the wheel. Uh, obviously, whoever it lands on first will get the option of choice. any of the three prizes we've got, and so on then and your so name on. will be or removed. If you've got more than one, one will remain on, one will come off. And then we'll carry on. And the next person that's drawn will obviously get to pick second. So okay. if you've got more than one entry in there, obviously you'll only lose the one entry. If your name comes up, you'll still have your other second entry in there. I Just think that's it. Have you said that? I did. Say like if you've more yeah. than one. Oh, okay. Sorry. You know, listen to me. So good. You know, listen to me. You are so, you know, so listen good. To right. Me. Okay. Here we go. Everyone, get your fingers crossed. In the chat, get your fingers crossed now. It might work. <laughs> Where's the wheel? Hang on a minute. Tea cake <laughs> says it has to be. Of course, it's got to be two boobies, aren't they? We can't have one booby. That's a good point. I've never even thought of that. Tea cake. You've got boobies on the brain. I think. Uh, right. So fingers crossed in the chat. Grant, if Tori wins, it's a fix. <laughs> she's got a. Tori's nervous. Got a. No, she's a nervous wreck now. She's like, oh my god. Right, okay, let's uh, let's share the screen. Let's bring up the wheel of names. I've put everybody's name in which the order in which they entered, but I'm going to shuffle that 10 times before we spin first. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's well and truly shuffled. And we're going to draw out the first winner. They're going to have the pick of the prizes. Are we ready? Yes, let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. Stop. Easy. Stop it. <laughs> Just press the wheel. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Ready. Oh, this is exciting. It's Thank you all for taking down. part. It's slowing down. It could be Tory. Oh, no, it's gone past Tori. Here we go in. It, Captain Up Shop. Oh, oh Closet he's... Geek. Oh, Closet, Closet Geek. Geek. Closet Geek Joe. Closet Geek Joe. Closet Geek Joe. And it's Closet Geek Joe. It's Closet Geek Joe. Oh. Ooh. Well done. Do we have Closet Geek yes, Joe he's there. with us? He's there. Now, I'm going to remove Closet Geek Joe's entry. So, now we have 29. So, anyway, over to Joe. He's said yay what would you like joe would what you like would the you like? predator you've got predator or you've got the mystery box which could be worth more than the predator this will be full by the time tomorrow comes full of stuff 
all variety of things some to resell some not to resell or you could indeed have the gaming cushion covers one two three four so it's up to he you he wants the mystery he said mystery 100 percent. he wants the mystery box you've got it so that means predator is still in play there will be some people very happy about that. <laughs> so mystery box is gone. Well done, Joe, and thank you so much Positive for your support. Keith, you said mystery box opening coming my way. <laughs> oh, it's going to do a YouTube. Oh no. Oh no, you're putting pressure on me now. Right, come on. Right, let's share the stream again. Tori says it's a fix. Fix. Because <laughs> she hasn't won. Because she hasn't won. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's share the screen again. And before we spin again, I've already taken Joe's entry out because we're down to 29. I'm going to shuffle again 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is Closet Geek on again or is he? He's got his missus is on. So it's Closet Geek Lauren somewhere. Right, okay. But Closet Geek himself let's, has gone. Let's see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> I'd laugh if his wife wins now. Oh, wouldn't that be uh, funny? Closet Geek Lauren. Yeah, she's she's not going to win, unfortunately. Tori. Oh, Liz. Liz. No. No. Oh, Lee. Lee Green, Green Bear, Bear Peaks. Peaks. Woo! Well done. There you go. I'm going to remove Lee's one of Lee's entry, just that one, down to 28 entries. Let's come back to the chart. Well done. What would you like? Well done, Lee. What do you want? You got the Predator or the uh, cushion covers? Defo affix, Tori says now. <laughs> uh, get in there, Green Bear. It was close to Liz. It she was. Didn't get it, it unfortunately. Was. He would like the Predator. Oh, the Predator has gone. Oh, there's going to be some people absolutely gutted now. There you go. It's winging its way to you. Um, Joe, don't forget, send me your address. Send me a message. And Green Bear, send me your address as well. That's gone. The Predator bobblehead. So, the next one for the cushion covers. The next one, this is going to be the cushion covers, no matter what. So, oh, let's just share the screen. Nearly did it blind then. <laughs> there would have been uproar then, wouldn't there? Yeah. Let's shuffle it again 10 times. We're one, down to two, 28. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to spin the wheel. <laughs> Who are we getting? Who are we getting? Who is it? 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 Oh, it's freezing. It's being a bit. Queenie could be onto another one here. Or is it Steve? Is it Steve? Steve or Queenie? It's Queenie. It's close. It's Queenie. It's Queenie. No way. <laughs> Queenie's on fire today. Queenie said she was going to go for a hat trick. <laughs> she is on fire. I'm going to remove Queenie's entry. And there you go. Well done, Queenie. You have the cushion covers. Oh, I've not been writing these down, babe. Why don't you remind me? Right, hang on. It's Closet Geek with... Um... Uh, what's the first prize? A mystery? Yeah, Closet Geek. Mystery Closet. Well done, Queenie, by the way. Geek Joe. Um, who was second? Uh, Green, Green Bear. Bear Peaks Predator. Green Bear Peaks Lee. Third was Queenie. Queenie Con I forgot already. Queenie Conquest Cushions. So Chris is happy, saves postage. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't know if Queenie is off. Is she disappeared? Oh no, yet. there she is. Where what is what she? she says. Oh, did I miss her? It oh was yeah, very there close. she is. There she is. Well done. There you go. So we've got two booby prizes now um, to draw. So let's share the screen again. Tori's going home. She's not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you might win a booby prize, yeah. So I'm going to shuffle 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Am I actually sharing? Yeah. yeah. Um, and there we go. Is it going to be? Who weird? Who weird? Who weird? Who weird? Mr. Sprout, maybe. Could be Mr. Sprout. Is it Mr. Sprout? Oh, is it L Laura Mealing? Looks like it's Laura Mealing. Laura Mealing. She is in. I've seen her. Woo! Well done, Laura. Our first booby prize. Well done. We'll remove Laura from the wheel. We've got one more spin to do. Um, we'll just get on with it, shall we? Should we just get on with it and do the next one? The last booby? Yeah, go for it. Let's get the last one. Are you shuffling again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Mr. Sprout says for fuck's sake. <laughs> Here we go. Last chance now. Last chance. <laughs> Oh, it, could it, be, is it Is it Queenie? Oh, 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 oh. Steve Jackson, maybe Steve's going to get something. <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted it's the Predator. Steve! Woo! He really wanted that Predator. So I can tell you now, your something. booby prize is not the Predator. <laughs> but well done, Steve. That is it. That's the five lots um, drawn. Well done, everybody, and thank you all so, so much for supporting the raffle. So appreciated, unbelievable support. Thank you all, 30 tickets sold. And um, in a few minutes, I'll tell you what's up for this month. Some really good prizes. Now, let's see what everyone's saying in here. Uh, Steve-O was very close, wasn't he, before as well? He yeah, nearly he got one. I'm not playing anymore, Tori. Is that what you said before? <laughs> Reseller Den says, awesome. Well done. That was fun. Um, the boobies are a surprise, Bill. We, we're not disclosing those. They are a surprise. Is Tori still oh, loves Lana it? says, Chris, you can send him a photo of the Predator. <laughs> That's me! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That is such a good idea. It's such a good idea. I wish I'd have thought of that. And do you know what was it. really sweet? Uh, Tori put in before that she really wanted to win so she could gift the Predator to She was Steve. going to give it. That's so she nice. She was going to give it. Um, Green Bear, if you want an immediate sale on your Predator, <laughs> you could sell it to Steve Jackson. He was desperate to win that. Uh, Steve says, yay, Chippy Tits won something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Steve, well, no, thank you guys. You know what? It's so appreciated all your support on the raffle. Up to Zombiever, Zombie, Zombiever for Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James Strong says Chris just sent you five pounds for the next raffle. Bloody Not hell. even seeing the prizes. I know. <laughs> Here's the prize for next week, next month. It's a measuring tape. <laughs> I'm already in profit. <laughs> no. Uh, no, thank you, James. If you've done that, that's, that's amazing. Thank you. A blind payment for oh. entry into the raffle. Thank you. He might be asking for it back in he a will. minute. Yeah, no refunds now. <laughs> well, there's no refunds in this game. Right, um, go on then. Show everybody what, what you could win next here's, time. Here's, let me get this week's out of the way. They'll all be in the post to you guys, providing you give me your addresses. And they'll be in the post on Wednesday. That's my next postage day. Um, so I'll send them out to you Wednesday and you should have them, well, if you're really lucky the weekend, maybe Monday. Um, <laughs> James says I need one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Howard Suitcases team bell. Uh, he needs to win a ding dong when he can have yeah. a team bell. <laughs> yeah, you need to win a ding dong. Um, Krillin's in, Rob, uh, a.k.a. a long story short is in um hello you've missed a lot of the show you've missed all the fun tori's bought two tickets you'll have some 30 hell, tickets Tori. before they've seen anything jesus thank you very much <laughs> i appreciate it brilliant that thank you right let's show you what we've got up for next week so there's another amazing 
Car Boot Chris mystery box. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's not my protein. <laughs> well, let's hope it's not your protein. <laughs> <laughs> There's where you need the arrow pointing down there. <laughs> it's not my protein. This is going to be filled up with gear. It might be reselling gear. It might be bits and bats. It might be some absolutely belting items. It's a mystery box. Who knows? But I'm telling you now, nobody has ever been disappointed with one of my mystery boxes. And we've done loads of them. So it's, there's going to be another mystery box on the way. So that's the first thing. It may or may not be the most expensive, but it's good. it probably will be, actually, to be fair. <laughs> um, here's the next one. Let me just count this actually. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 20, 28. For you gamers out there, you retro gamers, a massive bundle of, watch this go, flying. 28 <laughs> PS2 games. I've got tons and tons of PS2 games. Some of them listed, some of them not. Now, I am going to say to you this. These games are in used condition, but saleable. A lot of them, and John at YLM can um, John at YLM can vouch for this because he's repaired a lot of discs for me. He's done a lot of surface repairs. All of them are in saleable condition. Some may have manuals, some may not. It's a real mixed bag. But I'll give you some highlights from this lot. Or in fact, I'll show you quickly what they are. Um, there's you're then, gonna go through all 28. I'll, I'll, I'll flash it across <laughs> the screen. You're gonna flash it. Oh, there's a lot of innuendos on this show, isn't there? Well, Gold just says no one's been disappointed with Chris's pro team. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, most of these games are the lower end, but there are some good ones in here. I reckon resale value, if you bundled these up, resale value anywhere between 50 and 70 quid, maybe. So I'll, I'll flash them across quickly. Drone Racers, G Surfers, Extreme G, Star Wars Starfighter, Wipeout Fusion, Tony Hawk's Project 5, MX World Tour, SSX, MX vs. ATV, SXR, Splinter Cell Double Agent, Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, Rainbow Six, lockdown, lockdown. That's that's a good one. Hello, baby girl. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, Cell Damage Overdrive, a bit of Sudoku, Tetris World. Someone's put <laughs> someone's put an egg because they're taking the piss. Going only seven Fifas. <laughs> no Six Fifas. Pro Evolution. <laughs> no Fifas. Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. Steve Jackson put Tetris World. <laughs> What? Steve Jackson put Tetris World and then you've shown it. All right. Um, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, SRS Street Race Syndicate, Gran Turismo 3, Italian Job, Gadget Racers, London World Racer thing, London Racer 2, Reckless, and Super Trucks. Not a FIFA inside. No FIFAs. They're all they're all pretty low end, sort of probably like two to five pound games. I think most of these, if you were going to resell them, of course, you probably bundle them together. Um, I reckon bundle together so anywhere between fifty and seventy pound resale value, and they're all in resaleable condition. Sky um, Gamble said you'd probably get forty five quid after fees for the lot. Maybe, yeah. After, after fees, yeah, I'll probably have that. Um, but if you want to just boost your own collection, there's 28 games there for the PS2. Geraldine Harvey says she so enjoyed the stream. Oh, thank you. Now, the third prize, or you might consider it the third prize, maybe, are these two games. They are brand spanking new. Um, one of them is called Chayo's Secret. They're both made by WizKid. This one's called Palm Trees. Um, they are like your sort of modern day card games. And I have these um, for sale in my eBay store. This one is $26.99 for sale at the moment. This one I think is either $19.99 or $22.99. 
So there's a good 40 quid's worth at least here in those two games. You can look it up, look up the prices. You can see that these are worth decent money and they are sealed to great gifts or whatever you want to do with them. If you're a, a gamer or a card player, family card games, there you go, those two. And, of course, two booby prizes again, total of five prizes. That is what we're going to do, and we will draw it in a month's time. Jason, the reseller, has bought two tickets. Oh, thank you. Bless. Queen is offering out a Wii Mario Kart and Lego Jurassic Park for the Wii, if anyone wants them. Oh, cool. That's very kind of you. Yeah. Sky Vegas reckons you get 30 to £45 pound a piece for those games. What, these? Mm. And I don't think they're worth that much. I don't think they're worth that much. Um, I've got them for sale. I've got I've got multiples of these, um, but I know they are worth good money. 25-ish, 20-ish, probably. Most of those type of games are, though, aren't they? Yeah, they, they do really well. Um, they do really well at the moment, these card games. We've had Joe Len pop in. He says, hello from Niagara Falls, Canada. Wow. We are going across the world today. I know. Thanks brilliant. for joining hello. us. Uh, and we've got MM Antiques and Collectibles. Howdy, nice and, nice and early as usual. Yep, yeah, we're almost finished. Almost. I know, we're not far off. Uh, oh, Queenie said, oh, oh, right, sorry, she's replying to Jason about the games. Bye. Uh, Sky Vegas reckons that Chiros Secret is it an easy 40 quid. Hmm. Joel Len says, hello, it's his first okay. time here. Well, hello yeah. again and thank you for yeah. joining us. Welcome. Yeah. We always like our newbies as well as our old biz. <laughs> so that is pretty much everything. Um, again, you know, just thank you all for taking part in the raffle. Thank you for everyone who has already bought tickets for this month's one. Um, if you do want to buy tickets, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram, and I'll tell you how to join in the raffle, how to pay, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, and I'll put on Instagram pictures of this stuff with a reminder if you wanna take part. Yeah, anybody that has won anything today, don't forget to send messages with your details on so Chris can get them sent out to you. And you can either enjoy the prizes, you know what they are, or be very disappointed with the ones that you don't. <laughs> No, we're wrapping up. What are you doing, man? Oh, you've cooked everybody off guard now as we're all saying bye. Ah, you see. The oh, show's look, never who's, really look who's coming. Look who's coming first. Who? Same as me. That one? Yeah. Okay. Lee, Green Bear Peaks was fast there. And... I get to save on my postage again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, though. Haven't you won a Ding Dong prize already? I'm convinced you won one last last month. Did so he? I'm pretty sure you need to tell I think us. He did, yeah. You need to tell us. Is it cause what if, team you are? Yeah, what team you are. So you'll know what's coming. Yeah, he will. He'll, he'll know what's coming. He'll probably get a nice little collection going. But we'll make it different. Yeah, as long as you give us a different name and you'll have a different prize. Uh, so tell us, uh, tell us what team you want. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's drained <laughs> me tonight. An emotional roller coaster. James Tonks says different prize for each team. Yes, Could we, be. yeah, yeah. You see, we need Could to be. know which team you support. That's, it's very, very important, James. Very important. Uh, oh, Bell this time. Yeah, so he did win him previously. You know it's right. I'm pretty sure he took Cookie last time. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Team Bell. Whoop, whoop. As any, before we finish up, because we're on one hour, 20 minutes. We're not even at an hour and a half yet. We're finishing early, yeah? Yeah, you get an early night. She to bed, doesn't she? Has anyone got anything else to add in the chat before we finish up to tonight? Um... We'll give it a minute, and yes, don't forget, Tori has reminded us, or reminded you lot, to um, hit that like button. It's down here. Hit the like button. There it is. <laughs> down there. Go and hit it now. 
down there. Um, and if you've done the like button and you've not subscribed, then why the hell not? Please subscribe. It's also down here. It's down here. Go and do it. And I just wanted to do that constantly because I'm, I took time to make these overlays <laughs> and I wanted to use them. Uh, Green Bear was on the fence last time with Hayden's. Uh, so really, what he team Bell, but he, what he didn't want to upset you. So there we go. Uh, AA says, hey, Chris and Bell, first time commenting, miss your car boot vids. Hope your sales have picked up. Mine have been absolutely rubbish last week. Um, yeah, they've picked up a bit, but it's still not really amazing, to be honest. Um, but hopefully, you know, next few weeks, things will pick up a bit. Um, yeah, and I miss car boots as well. I was well. going to say, we miss the car boots too. Oh, I can't wait for car boots to come back up. Car boot season. Yes, get in there. Uh, Dave, cheers for the stream. Cheers, thanks for coming to Dave. Uh, the Dave had a ticket. He didn't win, unfortunately. But you got to be in it to win it. I never win anything. I can't remember, Dave. I can't remember. I'll have, I'm, I'm, my brain's gone blank. I'll, uh, I'll says, have you got live listing plan this week? Possibly tomorrow afternoon, I might go live and do a, a, a few hours on the live listing. Uh, also, Thursday, 7 p.m. is movie chats. And uh, the theme is favorite movie characters, not actors, actual characters in films. Uh, I can't remember what the homework was to watch. And there'll be a video or two out in the meantime. This time next week, so Monday night show next week will be a free-for-all again we'll have a free-for-all um so we'll start the month off free-for-all series free selling content free-for-all end of the month show show and we'll go like that steve jackson says breaking breaking correct <laughs> breaking is the homework there you go dave right are we Oof. are we all done i think we're i done. think we are we done. are done When is this chat coming? What do you mean? <laughs> I think, is he talking about your live listing? Or is, oh, no, is it the uh, thing here? The free-for-all? Free-for-all this time next week, Rob uh, Krillin. Um, yeah. Why did he get, ever have the name Krillin? What? Why do people call him Krillin and then Rob? What, what, what was the nickname? I was just wondering about that. Um, I don't know why I just said yeah. that. So if you want to join us next week, then feel free. And as always, we will welcome any oldbies. And we, you know, we'd like to encourage newbies on as well. Come say hello. Get yourself out there. Oh, yeah. Channel Nem is coming on now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for anybody who wants to hop on over. For once, we're actually finishing on time, which means that Channel Nem can get some um, people watching. If you want to go and watch Channel Nem, then um, feel free to drop on. So, yeah. So, thank you for joining us. Thanks for taking part. Yeah. It's been a fab show as it's always. Been great. Yeah. If you want great a prize, send me a message, please, if you want a prize. And that is it. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, as always, stay safe and we will speak to you all soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. See ya.